Hello. This year, the National Honor Society will be partnering with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, LLS, an, org an organization dedicated to fighting blood cancer. There is a kindergartner at Bauer Elementary named Tommy. Tommy has been diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia and has recently been selected by the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society as a member of their hero squad. As a hero, he will be representing the tri-state area on their behalf. Our goal for this service project is to come together as a community to support Tommy, as well as raise money for this fantastic cause. Our fundraiser will be two weeks long and take place from April 12th to April 23rd. For the first week, we'll be raising money in academic periods. This will be similar to the holiday projects we've done in the past, as there will be themes for raising money for each day and encouraging competition between academic periods. Tommy has leukemia and is ALL. He was diagnosed just after he turned three years old. In the beginning of his treatment, he was in the hospital for 20 days. So he had lots of treatments. Um, he had chemo that went through his port. He had to have lumbar punctures where the chemo is put in his spine when he goes to sleep. So he's not awake for that. But now we're in a phase called maintenance, which is really exciting because he only has to go in once a month. And during that time, he would either get it in his port or every three months he has a lumbar puncture where he would be sleeping in and it would go in his spine. They do help a lot of families who have needs. Um, cancer treatment is extremely expensive, um, so they help out with that. And also they provide a lot of money for research. And so that kind of goes to us because we have benefited from all the research they've done previously. I just think it's really exciting that we can talk about all the money that Miamisburg has raised already and um, that they get to help other families who would be struggling to, to support their children and, and have all these medical needs. Tommy is the most kind uh, little boy that um, you can imagine just from seeing him a minute ago with his mom. He's kind and friendly to everyone in the class. and. He really does represent what a hero is, um, and I'm just so proud of him and proud to have him in my room. The classroom, he's the, one of the first ones to raise his hand, volunteer to um, answer a question or help another friend out if they need something. He's a good role model to the other little kids in the room, so just real proud of him. I started working with Tommy at um, the beginning of his kindergarten school year um, and I work with him about once, well, I should say about twice a week um, for speech therapy. Um, he does miss a few sessions here or there depending on when his treatments happen. Tommy is always willing to try hard um, in therapies. I've seen him grow with his ability to make sounds correct. Um, and just such a happy little boy. He doesn't really let his communication um, impact him. He, he's always willing to participate and he wants to, you know, show what he knows. He's very smart. Um, he likes to talk a lot with his friends. And um, so he, despite, you know, those, those challenges with his communication, he loves to talk. Um, so yeah, we're just trying to help him be a little more clear Little by little, it means very little. A valkyrie. Fireman. Wow. Okay. What are you going to play this summer? The baseball. Baseball. 